And now for our lightning round with Brad Butt. Brad, are you all ready to go? Yep, let's roll. Uh, at uh, the regional council meeting uh, last week, uh, Councillor Ross put forward a motion, a very interesting one. Tell us about it. Well, uh, she wanted the Region Appeal Council to give direction to the Medical Officer of Health to start looking at the three individual municipalities in the region, so Mississauga, Brampton, Caledon, separately as far as COVID case numbers are concerned, so that possibly Mississauga could be allowed to open and let's say Brampton continue to close. A lot of people have been calling for this for a while, and now the Regional Council's adopted it. Well, I'm sure that... Uh... Caledon and Mississauga were on the same side. Brampton, maybe not so much. Anyways, <laughs> the, Very true. Uh, the province changed its mind on, uh, on uh, what was happening with LCBO deliveries. What was that flip-flop all about? Well, there was an announcement last week that the LCBO was entering into a deal with Skip the Dishes to allow for uh, delivery of uh, alcohol beverages uh, from the LCBO stores, I guess, to your home. The restaurants uh, went nuts uh, over that because that is an area that they've been able to take advantage of because of some of the changes the province brought in. And so the Premier and Minister of Finance have told the LCBO to back down. So forget ordering through Skip the Dishes for your next bottle of wine. Uh, what is happening with the vaccines? I know there's been news on the federal level, the provincial level. Everybody's excited and wanting to know what's going on. Well, I mean, this is there's a big bone of contention between the federal government and many of the provinces over what the timing is going to be for the distribution of vaccines throughout Canada. Uh, it really depends who you talk to. We know that the United Kingdom and Russia have actually started already distributing vaccines and administering them. So time will tell, but the provinces have been told to be ready for December 15th to have their plans ready to go. And maybe in January, we'll start to see some vaccines. Uh, SEBA expansion, I know that the uh, federal government's been talking about this for a while. Uh, a little add on to the $40,000 that's already there. What's happening? So last week, they've opened the portal to allow for the Canada Emergency Business Account loan to be expanded. So there's an additional $20,000 now available, of which $10,000 is forgivable if we re repay the loan by December of 2022. So I guess some additional good news for small business people who could use an extra $20,000 on top of the original forty dollars that was announced. So portal's open. Apply away. And I understand 10000 of that is forgivable, which is extra good news as well. Uh, the uh, rent uh, subsidy is now open. How do people apply for it and, and how much can they get? Again, the Government of Canada has opened up the new Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy Program. Uh, this is, provides up to 65% of uh, eligible rent costs and up to 90% in lockdown areas like the region of Peel. So yes, the portal is open. Uh, like any program, there are strings attached and not everybody's gonna be happy with what's there, but it's a far better program than the previous one was. This one is also backdated into October. So again, I'd say get online, apply, you money is yours. That's it for lightning round with Brad Butt. Brad, we'll see you next week. Thanks, David.